Hey guys, Lindsay here. I'm here at the beautiful Sobble Falls. I'll go like this so that you can get a good glimpse of it. It's a absolutely lovely place. I've spent a lot of time here in the past. Actually, it's a place I went when I was a kid and I've come back lots of times as an adult to just enjoy it. It's uh, pretty amazing how loud and how rushing the water is. And I've, I've been in it before swimming. I've walked through it. It's pretty cool. And so today I wanted to talk to you guys about just um, enjoying God's creation and just enjoying worshiping God in different places. Um, I haven't traveled a ton myself, but I have been in some pretty cool places even within Ontario and Canada. And um, I do feel like for me personally, and it might be the same for you, like I, I can feel God's presence so much more sometimes like when I'm out in creation. And you know, it's just like every little thing is reminding me um, about God's intentionality. It's reminding me about how God created things to worship Him. In the Bible, it says that the, the trees clap their hands and um, the mountains shout for joy. Where um, it's like even creation is worshiping God. So I'm going to throw up a couple um, scriptures about that in, in this video. And then um, my challenge for you today is to name three places that you would love to worship God. So it could be like, I'd love to worship God at school, and maybe you really want to go back to school. Or I'd love to worship God on a mountain, and you like put up a picture of a mountain. Wherever you think that you could really worship God and feel God's presence, I want you to post three pictures of that and sort of explain why. And I can't wait to see all of your submissions. It's something that I love to do, is to just worship God in different places. So, see you guys next time. Bye. time we're gonna do something different we're gonna have the van Meel and family challenge so uh this is gonna be outdoor challenges and it's gonna involve trees so yeah. if you pan the camera over to where eden is she's demonstrating our first family no. challenger so okay. you gotta kind of wrap yourself up in a tree here we're not sure how to do that no that's not the challenge oh so you have to go on a tree like this make sure it's sturdy this one is only sturdy for me and this so you come up here you try and climb your shoe by the way, do not use sandals. And then, so like, be down here. You have to get up. Do pull-ups. <laughs> Pull yourself up by sitting. Amazing. Uh, second, our second challenge, guys, is uh, you got to jump right over a tree. So, how do you ask do you jump over a tree? I mean, that's that's shelling the tree, right? Mm, I mean, no. Yeah, not the right kind of tree. So. It can't be a tree laying down. That's you know that's not that's not cool. But um, you got to find a tree. Oh, rescue, rescue efforts. Get her, Murphy. Get her. All right, Forrest, are you still recording? Amazing. All right. Okay, so we're gonna jump over a tree, and it's a secret sauce to how to do this. The secret is finding the right tree. All right, Forrest, go for it. So, All right, so you gotta clear these you're trees, going to guys. Need, what you're gonna to need to complete this challenge is your legs. Yeah. And a small tree. And it helps if you have a dog. And, and um, also, if you live here. in Alora. Do you live in Alora? Go somewhere. Okay, anyway, you live, work at the Alora Public School. All right, Eden, demonstrate how to jump over a tree. So, you have to like, run. And, yeah. 
Or if it's small enough, this is what you can do. <laughs> this is what you can do. You can stand here and you can box. And you can box jump it like that. Nice, nice. Good, good example, Forrest. So what you want to do is you want to get your feet to clear that tree. Not around it, but over it. Like this. <laughs> good job. Try not to kill. All right, so we have one last part to our challenge, the third stage, to make it a true challenge, right? It's like a, th a good sermon, Stop three parts. Stop being an alien dog. <coughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, what you're going to want to do for this challenge is grab your uh, forest. Come here. Forest. Never mind. Just grab your brother or sister or mom, and you're going to listen to music. And you're going to, um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're going to appreciate, like you're going to notice the things around you in nature. <laughs> <laughs> that is what the dog does to your shirt. Yes, and you're going to notice the things around in the nature. And after, you are going to talk about it. Murphy, come. Um, so why did you do this? Oh, hi guys. This is Lax Larry. Um, I'm Python King's brother. I'm a lot more chill than he is. Um, I don't really work out ever. And uh, yeah, he's doing some five day marathon thing. I think they're called like super marathons or super thons anyway. Sounds exhausting just thinking about it. So, uh, I thought I would do a challenge since he's gone. And, uh, you know, it's raining outside today. Um, but even if it wasn't raining, I'd probably be doing the same thing anyway. Um, and that is watch a classic movie and eat your favorite snack. So, Ice cream's my all-time favorite snack of all time. Now, my all-time, all-time would be Dairy Queen Blizzards cookie dough. You can't beat that. But I don't live at Dairy Queen, so I got this Elk Crossing great ice cream. Tastes so good. Mmm. Mmm. That's yeah, good. Um, so my challenge, I don't want, I'm not a challenger. I'm more of like an invitation guy. My brother is kind of crazy. He's more of the crazy challenge guy. So my invitation for you is to tell me, post, and if you have it, take a photo of your favorite snack while chilling. And on top of that, what would be the best all-time movie that goes with that snack? So my all-time greatest movie is... Uh, mm. Man, that's good. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, movie. So uh, all-time movie is uh, Gladiator. And... Um, I have it on DVD, but our laptop broke that had a DVD player. So I haven't been able to watch it. What, as an invitation, mm, man, that is good. What's your favorite movie? And what's your favorite snack? Mm. Those are my two invitations. I hope you enjoy this rainy day. I don't know when you're watching this video. It might be a really nice sunny day when you watch this. But any day deserves a day for a good snack and movie. So um, thanks for watching this video. And I just want to apologize for my brother. He can be pretty annoying, super intense. So, uh, Cheers to chilling out from Lax Leary to the rest of y'all folk.
What's up, Junior Youth? It's Devin and Riley, and we have a challenge for you. So today, we are going to be doing is taking a ball and doing a dribbling, um, a dribbling tricks and you're going to pass it back and forth to one of your siblings or parents and this is what we are doing say what you're doing and i'm doing dribble high dribble low dribble and a figure eight what are you doing riley i did round pass so crossover crossovers two times and then I pass. Okay. And then I'm doing high dribble, low dribble, crossover, 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 pass. And if you don't have a second one, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, and so that you and whoever does it the most times and whoever does the best trick uh, wins. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see yours.